What impact does the rise of so many new SPACs have on Berkshire's ability to find and close new acquisitions? Well, it's, it's a killer. Uh, uh, the SPACs generally have to spend their money in two years, as I understand it. So they have to buy a business in two years. If you put a gun to my head and said, you got to buy a big business in two years, you know, I'd buy one, but <laughs> it wouldn't be much of one. Uh, uh, it, you know, we look and look, and, and, and now there are, I don't know how many, whether it's hundreds, and there's always been the pressure from private equity funds. I mean, if you're running money for somebody else and you're getting paid a fee and you get the upside and, and you don't have the downside, you're, you're going to buy something. And, uh, 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 I, I could tell you, but I, I, I had a very famous, I had a call from a very famous figure many years ago that was involved in it and wanted to learn about reinsurance. And I said, well, I don't really think it's a very good business. And he said, yeah, but he says, if I don't spend this money in six months, I've got to give it back to the investors. Uh, so, it, it, you know, it's a different equation that you have if you're working with other people's money where you get the upside and you have to give it back to them if you don't do something. <laughs> and frankly, we're not competitive with that. You know, and that won't go on forever. But uh, it's where the money is now, and Wall Street goes where the money is. And it, it, it does anything, you know, basically that, that works. And SPACs have been working for a while, and you stick your, a famous name on it, and you can, you can sell almost anything. And it, it's, it's, but it's, it's, not, it's an exaggerated version of what, we've seen in, in kind of, uh, uh, well, gambling done type market. In fact, I, I did have a quote from Keynes that we might put up on the, let's see if I've got, uh, yeah, this is, this is probably the most famous, one of the most famous quotes in, in history because it really sums up the problem of the fact we've got the greatest markets the world could ever imagine. I mean, imagine being able to own parts of the biggest businesses in the world and putting billions of dollars in them and take it out of, you know, two days later. I mean, compared to farms or apartment houses or office buildings where it takes months to close a deal, I mean, the markets offer a chance to participate and invest in earning assets on a basis that's very, very low cost, and instantaneous, huge, all kinds of good things. But it makes its real money if they can get, get the gamblers to come in because they, get, they provide more action and they're willing to pay sillier fees and all kinds of things. So you have this incredible, uh, huge asset to you, humanity, but it's, it really makes its money when people are doing stu stupid things. I mean, that's where the money really is. And... Keynes wrote this in 1930, in 1936, it says 1939 on the slide, but he wrote in 1936 in the general theory that, you know, speculators may do no, no harm as bubbles on a steady stream of enterprise. But the position is serious when enterprise becomes the bubble on a whirlpool of speculation. When the capital development of a country becomes a byproduct of the activities of a casino, the job is likely to be ill done. Well... The stock market, we've had a lot of people under the casino in the last year. You have millions and billions of people who have set up accounts where they day trade, where, they, where they're selling puts and calls, where they, uh, I would say that you had the greatest increase in the number of gamblers, essentially. That, and there's, not, you know, there's nothing wrong with gambling. And they, so they got better odds than they've got if they played the state lottery. But they've, they've had cash in their pocket. They've had action. And they actually had, you know, have a lot of good results. And, and if they just bought stocks, they do fine and held them. But, but the, the gambling impulse is very strong in people worldwide. And occasionally it gets an enormous shove. Uh, and, uh, and conditions lead to this place where more people are entering the casino than are leaving every day. And it creates its own reality for a while. And nobody tells you when the clock's going to strike 12 and it all turns to pumpkins and mice. But uh, uh, the, the, when the competition is playing with other people's money or we're, whether they're, and if they're playing foolishly with their own money, but they, the big stuff is done with other people's money, <laughs> uh, they're going to beat us. I mean, and, uh, uh, 
uh, we're not, we're not, uh, that's a different game and they've got more, they've got a lot of money. So we're not going to have much luck on, on acquisitions uh, uh, while this sort of a period continues. But it's happened before. This is about as extreme as we've seen it, isn't it, Charlie? Or? Yes, of course. I call it fee-driven buying. In other words, not buying because it's a good investment. They're buying it because the advisor gets a fee. And, of course, the more of that you get, the, the sillier your civilization is getting. And, uh, to some extent, it's a moral failing, too. Because the easy money made by things like SPACs and total deriv return derivatives and so on and so on, you push that to excess, it causes horrible problems for the civil civilization. And it reflects no credit on the people who are doing it and no credit on the regulators and voters that allow it. So I, I think we have a lot to be ashamed of in current conditions. But it's where the money is. Yeah, but we still, <laughs> but it's, it's shameful what's going on. Yeah. It's not just stupid, it's shameful. It's not, I don't regard it as shameful on a lot of the people that gamble. I mean, it, 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 uh, gambling is a very human instinct and they've got money in their pocket and they know somebody else that's made money who they don't think is any smarter than they are. And, no, no, I, I don't mind the poor fish that gamble. I don't like the professionals that take the suckers. <laughs>